I want to introduce you to someone who is undoubtedly going to be a star of the future. Please give a huge, warm welcome to Ruby Walvin. Ruby is a brave, beautiful, talented girl. She's always been quite headstrong. She was the one that really saw life. Um, see, I've started already. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get so told off. Chris is soft. <laughs> Nanny. Hello. As we were growing up, the girls, we've always had music on. Music's always played a big part in our family. In particular with Ruby as well. So like she's always had an interest from, from the off and, and she saw that, that you know, songwriting and music as her, her future, really. She had been talking to us over a couple of weeks with varying symptoms. I think we said to one another, or Lou said to me, are you thinking what I'm thinking? And I said, yeah, it has crossed my mind. Hi, I'm Ruby. I've recently been diagnosed with acute leukaemia. Last month, I lived independently. I was studying at university. I was a musician, a songwriter. I think for Ruby, it was Shattered dreams. If you can imagine a stained glass window with all her future plans in, and it was like someone had just thrown a brick through. The side effects and stuff like that were just, they weren't ever ending, and I had a lot of infections. I couldn't listen to music. I wasn't writing, I wasn't singing. On a normal haematology ward, she was there on her own at night, and it must have been terrifying for her. She'd never, she'd never stayed in hospital on her own. We transferred to the Teenage Cancer Trust in Leicester. Being brought onto the ward was such a change because it was so different from the adult ward. And I was greeted by Charlie, who was one of my nurses, and she was like, oh no, we've been expecting you. Here's your bedroom. And I remember when she said that my mum could stay with me, it was like a weight off my shoulders. Just because I felt like I, can, I don't have to do it alone. I don't have to be by myself the whole time. I can have her there with me. It was a, a really dark time. She thought, that's it, I'm, I'm never going to be able to do it, never going to be able to get back playing a guitar. Teenage Cancer Trust just seemed to be the, the, the light, the beacon, really, that helped us through. Next week, I'm going to travel to London and I'm doing a gig at the Savoy. I'm really, really excited. This is my first gig um, since treatment. It took quite a while for her to sort of like convince herself that, you know, dare believe that there was still the possibility of her being able to look at music again. Lois is my youth support coordinator. She would often come in and speak to me about, uh, have you heard this artist or how is your music going? She'd often like support me and encourage me to pursue music, ask me about my music. Friends that I've known for years Haven't been in contact for a while And they've stepped away from all that's happening to me but it's all part of the game. The game I hate. Teenage Cancer Trust for me means hope. A diagnosis of cancer is, is just devastating, and when it's your child, is unbearable. Anything that can help young people and the families through that process Thank you. Thank you is much. worth every penny.